right now. I'm outside the Russian embassy in London and everyone is honking in support of Ukraine. And I wanted to post this a video from, archi from my archives from summer 2020. I went to Ukraine many, many, many times, um, usually to work with one of my co-authors on a math paper. And this video is something I never posted. And it was just kind of me walking around some sketchy parts of town and then going to give a talk at the Dragomanov National Pedagogical University with my co-author. And he's now, last I checked, at least ever recording this, He's stuck in Kiev with his family, um, he has a wife and uh, two children, and they're trying to get out, he can't. So I want to just post this as a record of something that may no longer even exist, and um, hopefully it's of some value to someone, and I'm going to head to the protest right after this in Trafalgar Square. This is one of my last days in Kiev, and I'm giving a talk very soon in just four hours at um, National Dragomanov Pedagogical University on normal numbers. And rather than sitting around there preparing it for something, I'm here to take you around some of the more non-touristic parts of Kiev. So I was looking on the map near Metro Lukyanivska, and it says the Syrian embassy is right next door. So I figure, okay, I'm just kind of curious, what can we find at the Syrian embassy? And. <laughs> All I find is this really crazy weird bar that completely rips off Futurama and everything. Um, I guess maybe this is how the Syrian embassy makes some money. I'm not really sure. Um, for example, Bender drinking with Homer Simpson. I like this uh, use of the microwave. I don't know if it works anymore, but this, uh, we got a mirror. Yeah, take a look at this cool shirt that I have here interesting abandoned car here i'm not sure what type it is i guess it depends if that's probably in russian we'll say gaz um or it'll be like haz in ukrainian um but we have the yeah the wheels the, the tires are um, clearly out of air um there's there's a the birds have had their uh, thorough sweeping of this car you can tell and it's a bunch of stuff leaned on it, so... I don't know, if anyone can tell me what type of car this is, um, I'd be really curious, because I don't think I've seen one of these before. So I got in and I got to this kind of workout playground part, and look how cool this is. So like we have all this, uh, it's, well it's rainbow colored, but I don't know, I, it kind of looks like dip bars, but I guess maybe you kind of travel like just on your on your arms through here. I mean, that's that could be kind of challenging, actually, to be honest. And look at all this other stuff here. Like we have, I mean, these monkey bars are pretty intense. Um, it looks like there's probably something that at one point was hanging from there, maybe some rope. So we're now at one of my very favorite metro stations. This is Metro Sviatosha, and we're very, very far off the touristic track of Kiev. Um, there's some really crazy market that I remember here from before. Uh, we're gonna go there. So this is Rinok Zazijnia. Um, I don't know what, you know, so that's a market Zazijnia. I don't know um, if that has a special meaning or anything. Um, but this looks already a little different. Like maybe we can find at least some like uh, meat or fruit babushkas or something like that here. wonder what's back here. Um, the answer is the dog is back there. And so I think this is one of these markets. Oh boy. That's not even the angry dog. So I think that we're not going to go anywhere near back there. I'm not going to stick around and see exactly what was going on there, but we can still hear they're a little excited from that. So, uh, sorry, Nia Panimayu. Sabata, Sabata, yeah, Sabaka, yeah, Sabaka, yeah, Sabaka, yeah, yeah, I'm not happy. Uh, Sabaka, Ni Lublu, yeah. Yeah, 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 just like, far, far, far. yeah. Yeah, not, not friendly at all, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can, yeah, yeah, film me too, film me. Yeah. If you get kind of some sort of like visual of what it's like being here right now, you have two barking dogs that want to kill you. You have the Macarena playing in the background, and then you have barbed wire up here. 
So this is the Metro Sviatoshan that I know and love. And yeah, this is very beautiful. Yeah, I like it. Uh, this, on the other hand, I really don't like nearly as much. <laughs> well, I do like it in kind of an ironic sort of way. But um, yeah, that's probably the shallow graves of vloggers. And there's Sabaka over there that I'm a little suspicious of and a little cat, so please don't kill me. Oh, that was cute. The little kittens. Oh, the dog loves the little kitten. Kitty cat. It looks nice, but I'm still going to get away because I still don't trust it. So it seems that they have a name for this kitten, Freutza. So um, they started talking to me, and I, so I think that the dogs are going to be friendly. Everything is safe. Um, the kitten is really absorbed with this little insect that it found, so it's being very playful. So, yeah, spasiva. <laughs> Attacking my shoelaces. This is Metro Sviatoshan. This is why I love Metro Sviatoshan. Stuff like this happens. Oh man, I need to get going for sure. It's really hard to, because my talk isn't in all that long even. Oh, that was both at the same time, the cutest and the scariest market I've ever been in. Um, it's only an hour and a half until my talk and there's actually still a lot of stuff I'd really like to show everyone. I think maybe next year I'll have to come back to like, Metro Nivkin, Berestetsky and all that. I think all I'm gonna do is um, just have time to go to Metro Zhitomirska because there's some interesting stuff there and I think we'll kind of um, end it there and I'm gonna have to really rush to get back to Metro Universitet to give my talk on time. I'm not going to really have time to show most of what's on Metro Zhitomirska. I'll probably have to come back there later. Um, but the main reason I wanted to come was to show this amazing thing right here. So we have busy streets, as you can tell. And we have this right here. So I love this thing. This is amazing to me. Um, now the problem is that my talk at National Dragomanov Pedagogical University is about 30 minutes away and I really need to get there on time. Um, so I'm giving it about 50-50 odds right now, so I'm going to really hope there's no traffic jam. I think it might be too slow to go by Metro now, so I need to call a taxi. Barely on time, so I'm here at the National Dragomanov Pedagogical University and I'm giving a talk here and I think four minutes, so I got to do this intro really quickly. And hey, here's Professor Torben. Hopefully I'm not too late for my talk. It's good timing. I'll be up in just a minute. Okay. Um, so he's someone that does uh, similar research to what I do. So it's supposed to be about uh, training teachers, but it's a real full university. There's good research going on. They have a PhD program. So I'm here to work with Roman Nikki Foroff, who was in my previous videos. And we're gonna go see everyone. We're gonna go upstairs. We're gonna really rush because I'm almost late. And I'll show around the university later after my talk. So I think I'm almost on time. Yep. No, it's all going to be okay. And if X has at least two invariant measures, that's very, very important. So I'll say why in a minute. Um, then for every shift invariant measure mu on X, a set of generic points G mu is pi zero three. Okay, so it's the next day now, and this is my last full day in Kiev before I go back to Poland. And I wanted to show just this room because it's really very interesting to me. This is where I just gave my talk. And I mean, to me, this is just very different than like a uh, you know, room where we have like in the United States. And Roman and I, uh, we were here working and <laughs> just some um, scribbles on the chalkboard, nothing important. We're just kind of you know, as is typical in math, we're kind of confused about something. Most of the time we're confused and eventually there's some product. I've honestly never seen a building like this. It's just full of all these types of uh, paintings and portraits. I mean, I'll stop and show some of these. Like they change their theme as they go on some. You said there was Sylvester Stallone a little yeah. further, right? Yeah. yeah. So I think a lot of these are Ukrainian figures. Um, that looks like that's, who's that? Uh, that's Yaroslav Mudria? Yes. Okay, I have no Prince idea who he is. Prince of so. Kiev. 
Well, he was a prince of Kiev back yeah. in the, about a thousand years ago. Yeah. And I'm also wondering, like, where that goes. Like, we have this really interesting staircase. Oh, it's the telescope. Oh, there's a telescope here, yeah. too, even. Oh, wow. I didn't even know about that. So the things you sort of learn when you start vlogging, you get, you know, new information. Um, so what's here? We couldn't figure out how to turn the light on. Oh, let, let's, let's actually look at Pepe. So this is an official university request to um, go and major in teaching children. So I'm not going to have any commentary whatsoever on this symbol, but I just wanted to show it because, you know, it's here. Uh, so. Yeah, let me show you Kirk Douglas and Dustin Hoffman. Oh, oh both Kirk Douglas and Dustin Hoffman. Yeah, uh, it's a... Uh, collection of paintings of brother of former president Yushchenko uh -huh. and it's like Ukraine Ukrainians in the world so I see uh, there is many pictures of Ukrainians but also some people in some sense connected with Ukraine maybe it's not just direct connection but I in see. some sense connection I don't know what connection with Sylvester Salona or... Say, oh, yeah, there, there's Sly Stallone, but he shouldn't be down here. He should be like up, like, as the main, you know, the main person to see, like a big picture. Yeah, yeah. That's so Rocky. This, this part is uh, for... for movie oh, yeah, here's uh, Kirk Douglas. Yeah, yeah. And there's... And we have Michael Douglas. Douglas. Who is it? Michael Douglas. Oh, Michael Douglas, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and this uh, Dustin Kaufman. And look what we have here. <laughs> Yet again. He's telling us where the bathroom is, the WC. Heroes of the Soviet Union from the Second World War. You had to pass through security to get in these universities, which is different than in American universities. So you would enter the university over there. And this, to me, is kind of interesting. This greets you right away when you enter here. And I don't know, <laughs> I kind of like it. I think it's a little tacky, but I kind of like it. Klitschko Vladimir and Klitschko Vitali. I see, yeah, because they got PhD here, right? Or one of them did at least. Yeah, yeah, two of them. The TV down here playing, just kind of, and then we have the graduation gowns, we had the Dragomanov stuff in the photos here, or the pictures here, and now we have the globe, and that's uh, just a map of Ukraine, right? Yes. Okay. So there's a lot of maps here. Cute little dog up here. Just barking, just a guard dog. <laughs> like I heard this from down below and it's like, what's going on? I thought it was a toy almost. now I haven't seen them in three and a half weeks and they've been being taken care of and let's guess which cat is gonna visit me first or is gonna come out first um, my guess is it's gonna be the white one and they probably know it's me because they can hear my voice so let's see which of the cats it's gonna be Gonna get here first. Yep, yep, I guessed it correctly. <coughs> yeah, she just came out. Hey, Big Red. Hey, Big Red, I missed you too. I missed you too. <laughs> and someone, someone wants attention. <laughs> Running up and down the stairs. Hey. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm done with all of the stuff from Kiev for now. I'm definitely gonna go back. Um, you can see someone definitely missed me. He's getting his belly rub. 